Great to talk to you, Daryl. First and foremost, how's the injury, mate? Yeah, it's obviously um, niggly timing to break your hand a few weeks before a World Cup. But no, it's, um, we've got some good news before we left around where the where the break is and, and that. So it's, yeah, it's coming along. Probably might be a bit too close for the first game, but we're hoping for your yeah, game two and, and away we go. Okay, just tell us exactly what it is then. Where did it break? Um, so you got hit in the nets. Uh, broke sort of halfway up your palm, I guess you could say, on the right hand. Um, so yeah, it's um, not ideal with that being the throwing hand and, and stuff like that as well. But um, yeah, it's healing nicely. I've got good movement and stuff. So we're pretty hopeful that it should be good to go in and, and just under a week. Hey, has that happened to you before? Um, oh, cricketers, you break fingers and thumbs all the time, but it's the first time I've done my hand. So, um, yeah, it's a bit bit more niggly, I guess you could say, but, uh, yeah, it's part of the job. I know you guys think like that, and you do say that it's part of the job, mate, but there's not that many jobs where you break your fingers and your hand, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess it's the, the silly sport we play at times when you're trying to catch a ball flying at 150k an hour that, um, yeah, you're going to, Going to get a few niggles here and there. Just, um, yeah, in my case, very lucky that it, it didn't put me out for this World Cup and that I'll still be able to hopefully play a role in this comp- in this competition. Did you, feel, did you feel it instantly? Did you actually know straight away? Yeah, yeah, I knew. As soon as it hit me, I, I knew it, it had missed missed the padding on my glove and um, I knew, it, yeah, it wasn't going to be uh, pretty. And, yeah, I, at the time, I probably thought that that was my World Cup done. So very grateful to... To still get a chance to be able to play in this competition and um, yeah, looking forward to getting getting back out there when I do. Daryl Mitchell Black Cap with us and tomorrow night, eight o'clock, it's us against Oz. Oh, oh, bummer for all of us fans as well, mate. You've been having a hell of a year, you know, across all forms of the game. So so looking forward to it. And we really want you back as quick as. Yeah, no, it's it's just been good fun. I just I just love representing my country and being part of this group with what is a great bunch of lads and, and leaning off some world-class guys like Kane and, and Tim Southey and Trent Bolton. That it's, it's a great group to be a part of and I'm just loving being here. You can tell, Daryl, you can tell when you play, mate, that you love representing New Zealand. You love a black shirt on your back, mate. It actually, you can actually feel it. I don't know whether or not anyone said that to you, but it's just, it, it is palpable and obvious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's obviously... Something as a little kid that you dream up of doing and um, whether it was trying to be an all black in the winter or a black cap in the summer, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty special to be able to do that now and to be able to live my dream, which um, yeah, very grateful for. I mean, going back to that England Test Series, I mean, you played outstanding during that. What's the different mentality that you take in? Do you play differently? That's what I'm trying to ask you here. Do you go in thinking I'm going to play differently, different shots, different way of approaching it to the red ball, to the white ball? Um, obviously, test cricket's it's yeah you've got a lot longer you've got five days so it's um, yeah trying to read little moments and I guess keep trying to find ways to put pressure on them like you do in T20 but know that at times you've got to play the long game and and understand that the longer you do things hopefully um, yeah the basics for longer then hopefully they crumble quicker than you and and yeah it's uh, it's I think test cricket's the ultimate test of of your game both mentally and physically and. Um, T20 brings out your skill set and, and I think it's the entertainment side as well. When you when you kicked off and you started getting selected for New Zealand, did you think that you would actually play all forms? Was that was that obviously probably your dream, but did you think that you would establish yourself as as, as uh, quick as you have? Um, yeah, I guess it's always your dream to play all three formats. Um, yeah, to do it, uh, I'm very grateful that I probably didn't debut for New Zealand when I was younger. Um, I was allowed to learn my game at the domestic scene for a long time and go through some good times and some bad times so that once I got to this level, I, I guess I understand my game a bit better and how I want to go about things. And um, yeah, it's just really cool to be able to play in three formats and, and keep trying to win games for our country. Does that mean also that as a person, you were maturing during that time and just learning, taking all those lessons and, and perhaps not getting ahead of yourself? I mean, that's probably the advantage of coming in a little for maybe a few years later as well. Yeah, I think it's a massive part of it, I think. Yeah, when you're in the middle of it and, and you're young and you're, and you're playing domestic cricket, you want to play for New Zealand as quick as you can. And there's times where you rush it and, you yeah, you, you, I guess you get obsessed with your numbers and, and want to get up to the stage. But uh, looking back now, very, very grateful that it, I was allowed to learn my game and on and off the field and, you know, to become a father as well of two little girls. And that puts life into perspective. And I think all those things add up to once you do get to this level that, yeah, you um, understand how you want to go about it a bit better. Daryl Mitchell with us, Black Caps, underway against Oz T20 tomorrow night at the World Cup. Uh, bowling or batting, or did you always want to do both? Um, yeah, I think my personality, I always want to do both. Um, batting's always, I guess, been my business. That's 
that's my main job. And then the bowling's the, that's the fun side that you know, get to compete and, and get stuck into the battle. So no, I love being both. I just I love being involved in, in, in crucial moments and, and trying to help us win those moments. And yeah, whether I do it with battle ball or even in the field, uh, it doesn't really worry me. The thing that I love, mate, and I think that I think a lot of fans love as well, is you play so competitive as well. We just know that when you're out there, you you hate losing, don't you? I can tell that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's brought up from many a battle in the backyard. Um, so yeah, it's uh, for me. That's why I play the game is to compete um, and to try and yeah, try and win and. Although it's not the be-all, end-all, it's, um, yeah, I, I do enjoy winning more than losing, it's for sure. All right, so how much have you watched of this tournament so far? We've got two Crackerjack matches tonight because the pre-tournament tournament, I've found myself sitting at home, mate. I turned the TV on. The other night I was, I was, I was watching Ireland-Scotland. What a brilliant game. And we've got two matches tonight in that second group. Any of the four teams can go through. Yeah, it's been a, yeah, it's been some big upsets, hasn't there, in the first in the first few games and nah, it's been an awesome watch and, and hopefully that just grows the, the viewing ship of this tournament over here in Australia and we can get some big crowds to some of the lesser games as well which is cool so um, nah, it's, it's awesome to see and it just shows you in T20 cricket that anyone could be anyone on their day which um, yeah makes this tournament wide open Okay that's what I want to ask you about the self-belief then going in against Australia because they pantsed us in that Chapel Hadley series and that was really disappointing do we, do we have a mental block do you consider that we have a mental block against them or tell us how you face Australia and, and how you how you prepare yourself for that no, I think we're really excited to get stuck into the Aussies tomorrow night um, for us it's you know, world tournaments, especially these pinnacle events, there's a start date and an end date and, and you go in there with a really clear picture of how you want to go about your business and um, for us, whether it's playing Australia, England, South Africa, that doesn't really matter. We'll we'll go about doing our business the way we do and, and how we want to play as Kiwis and hopefully that means we'll win a few games along the way um, and yeah, and then be nice to bring a trophy home, that's for sure. Oh, mate, we've got so goddamn close. That's the thing, isn't it? I don't have to tell you, mate. I mean, we've got so close. <laughs> No, it's, yeah, it's just the nature of sport, isn't it? It's got to be a winner and a loser. And um, yeah, we're lucky enough to win the Test Championship a couple of years ago now. And um, yeah, to be part of a lot of finals is, is very special for a small country like ourselves. But yeah, you know that this group here would love to go one better and, and come home with one, that's for sure. And what's the feeling over in Australia? Is it taking off yet? To me, it's going to be one of those tournaments that as soon as we play them, they get to play in front of their own fans, in front of their own country. And that, that will really kickstart this tournament. Yeah, it's definitely like it definitely feels like it's building up now. The last few days, we always had some warm-up games up in Brisbane, and and now that we've got to Sydney, and um, yeah, it definitely feels like we've we've got to a World Cup. But also, I think the the strength of this group here is we don't make it bigger than what it is. Um, yeah, we're just yes, we are representing our country, but we're also just um, yeah, a bunch of Kiwis over here trying to take on the world, and yeah, we'll see what happens. No, well, that's the best thing about it, mate. And we're actually doing it. We're doing it in rugby league at the moment. We're doing it in the women's rugby. A whole lot of Kiwis out there. Trying to win world championships for yourselves, your family, for your country. It's fantastic, mate. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And again, it's what you dream of as a little kid. So, um, yeah, very lucky to be a part of this group and, and to be able to get this opportunity. And, um, yeah, we're really looking forward to the next few days. Okay, so conditions over there. You, now that you've kind of the team settled in and that, uh, I've, I've heard that it's been really wet and so the pitches might be a little bit slower, a little bit spongy. Is that is that what you're reading? Yeah, it's definitely. I'm looking out the window here at the moment, and it looks like there's a little bit of rain around. So it's, um, yeah, it's. I guess for us, it's adapting as quick as we can to the conditions. We don't know really what they'll do until we get show up on game day, because um, it can obviously change so much. So, yeah, for us, it's making sure that we adapt to whatever we, whatever we see, and we're really good, really clear on how and communicating how that's going to happen. And um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just play what we see in front of us. Okay, so anyway, we'll, le- we'll leave it with... Okay, so, you know, obviously the injury is healing. When do you expect to play? Can we see you in Game 2? Yeah, that's the goal at the moment, is, is to be right for Game 2. Obviously, breaking my hand two weeks ago, it's it's pretty tight in terms of time frames. But, um, yeah, no, we're really happy with how it's progressing. And, um, yeah, we'll get, get a bat in hand today, and we'll see how we go. And I guess that'll paint a... A clearer picture on where, when I'll be ready. Oh, awesome, mate! Go and get him, eh? I mean, you, you know, you play with, as I said, with such pride for our country, eh? Just a huge fan at the end of the microphone, mate. So all the very best to you. No, thank you very much, and appreciate your support. And yeah, it'd be nice to bring home a trophy in about a month's time.